course, Colorado did its part today, casting all nine of its electoral votes for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. The meeting of electors going much smoother than it did in 2016 when some from Colorado opted to vote against the state's winner. Cardio News Channel 13's Lauren Barnes is in Colorado Springs tonight to explain what's changed since then. It all started here as Coloradans cast their votes in record breaking numbers in the November 3rd election. And now the certified electoral votes are on their way to Washington. Voting is closed and the results are in. The results have been in, but Monday marks a major step in making them official. The candidate that won the popular vote in the state of Colorado, Joe Biden for president and Kamala Harris for vice president. Governor Jared Polis joined Secretary of State Jenna Griswold to oversee Colorado's meeting of the presidential electors. And that I will vote for the presidential candidate. The electors sworn in on a promise to vote for Vice President Joe Biden. And the vice presidential candidate. And Senator Kamala Harris as his right-hand woman. Who received the highest number of votes. In 2016, a few Colorado electors went rogue, wanting to vote for someone other than Hillary Clinton, who won the state. The 2020 general election was the first since this summer when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that states can punish faithless electors who vote against the popular vote winner. Electors play an important role in reaffirming the democratic principle that the people that everyday American people decide who the leaders are of our nation. According to Secretary of State Griswold, voting for the people's choice for president is also now Colorado law. And this year, Coloradans came out to voice their pick for president in record-breaking numbers. Colorado actually saw the second highest turnout in the country with 76.4% of the total population. Griswold hopes to lead the nation in voter turnout the next go around. With that, Colorado's votes are officially cast for Joe Biden for president and Senator Harris for vice president. The meeting of the electors is officially concluded. Thank you all for your service. The El Paso County Clerk and Recorder is now allowing the public to inspect ballots in the 2020 general election in which the county also experienced record breaking voter turnout. You will need an appointment which gives you two hours to inspect ballots in Colorado Springs. Lauren Barnes, KRDO News Channel 13.